just want to make sure that we have something we can pull on or hold in our hands and something we can squeeze. So from there, let's come on to our little area, um, our mat, or if you're like me and has a nice comfy carpet, and we're going to start seated today. So you can sit with your legs however it feels comfortable for you and your body. So we're going to start by stretching out the upper body a little bit before we warm up those legs. So sit however feels good for you. And I'm just going to start by putting my left hand on the floor. My right hand is at my side, palm up. And as I exhale, I'm just going to stretch sideways over. Again, keeping the shoulder down and back in the socket as I go all the way over and feeling this nice stretch through the right side of my body. And come on up. And again, just stretching all the way over. If you're bending and you can come down onto that forearm while still maintaining form, that's okay. Or if you're a little tight this morning, just go over as far as you can. And again, I'm really reaching my right hand overhead as far as I can and back down. We're just gonna do two more, nothing too crazy, but I wanna make sure we're really nice and warmed up, especially before we get into that band and magic circle stuff. So last one, all the way over, stretch, stretch, stretch. If you can, hold this position and lift that bottom arm up and stretch it as well. This is gonna put a lot more intensity into this right side and get those abs working a little bit. Beautiful, come all the way up. Now let's try the opposite side. Right hand down, left hand palm up. And again, just stretching and reaching overhead, getting that nice stretch now through the left side of the body. And come on up. And again, exhaling, going all the way over. And just like before, keeping this left shoulder down and back in the socket, not letting it fall forward at all. And back up. And all the way over. If you're a little bendy, you could come down onto that forearm. And if that doesn't feel good, then of course, just bending over as far as you can. The main thing is just trying to reach that left hand as far overhead as possible. Let's do two more. Go all the way over, stretch, 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 stretch. And then of course our last one. Going all the way over, 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 stretch, stretch, stretch. Now hold this position and if you can, lift that right arm off the floor, deepening that stretch through the left side and getting that core on a little bit more. And just stretch. Hold this just by count of three. So three, two, one, come all the way up. And you can relax your hands however you need to. I'm going to open up that neck a little bit. So I'm just going to start by wrapping my head to the right, trying to touch my ear to my shoulder, and then letting my head fall and rock forward, and then trying to bring my left ear to my left shoulder before letting that head rock forward again. Perfect. Not that we'll really need our neck today for anything, but we want to make sure it's all nice and relaxed and loosened up before we get into our day. Perfect. All the way forward and around and to the left. And all the way forward and around to the right. Beautiful. And then one more to the left. Now once I'm here to the left, my head's going to fall backwards as it rolls to the right. And then roll backwards. Beautiful. Going as fast or as slow as feels safe and comfortable for you and your body. If for any reason you start to notice there's a point of tension, you can pause and just try to relax and deepen that stretch wherever that tension might be to help those muscles start to release a little bit. Beautiful. Now the next time I'm to the right, I'm going to make a full circle. So my head's going to fall forward, roll to the left, go back and around behind and end at the right. And again, falling forward, chin to chest, all the way over and back and around to the right. Perfect. And we're just going to do two more in this direction before we go the other way. So we can't just do circles in one direction. That would be weird. So now we're going to go the opposite direction. So rolling to the left, letting that head fall forward, roll to the right, and back and around. And you might start to notice that you're feeling different tension points from one side to the other. And that's A-OK. -okay. That's actually a really good sign. Perfect. And again, making those circles as fast or as slow as feels safe and comfortable for you and your body. Two more. Good. 
And then after my last one, we can come all the way down and around and back up. Huh. Hopefully your neck feels a little bit more relaxed. You'll think, hey, when we get to our ab segment. But now I'm gonna start with my left leg straight and I'm gonna bend my right knee. Now, the inside of my right foot is gonna be somewhere along the inside of my left leg, depending on what feels comfortable for your knees and your hips. From here, dorsiflex, or point that left foot up to the sky, and then as I exhale, just water fall forward. So we're stretching out the back of that left leg and kind of opening this right hip up a little bit. Ideally, my nose or my forehead is going to touch my knee, and if you need some help, you can grab the bottom of your foot and gently help bring yourself forward. Never tug or pull really hard, really fast. That's a recipe for a disaster. So just water falling forward. We're just gonna hang out here for just a few deep breaths. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale, and start to rock up one vertebrae at a time, stacking that spine up. Now I'm going to keep my right leg exactly where it's at and then move this left leg out to the side. It doesn't have to be as far as mine is, but or if you're bendier, it can be even farther. From here, I'm going to rotate my upper body so I can look at my toes. And again, waterfall forward, trying to bring my nose or my forehead to this knee. It's really helpful if you just kind of grab wherever you can on that leg, just to help you feel safe. It's kind of a tactile cue as I come forward. Now we're going to start to get that nice stretch through that low back area. Perfect. You might still feel something in the leg department. That's A-OK -okay too. And again, reach you with both hands, but I don't want to cut off the audio or the video, so I'm going to keep my right hand out of the frame. Perfect. And again, just holding this for a few deep inhales, deep exhales. <sighs> One more deep inhale. Deep exhale, slowly stack that spine up one vertebrae at a time. And now let's swap legs. So right leg starts off straight, dorsiflex toes to the ceiling, and left knee bent. And again, that inside of the left foot is somewhere along the inside of my right leg. So just like before, nice deep inhale, exhale, water falling forward, trying to touch forehead or nose to the knee, or of course, as low as they go. A lot of people like to grab hold of something and then gently bring themselves down. But again, no pulling and tugging. Those fast, sudden movements can sometimes be disastrous. So we're just bringing ourselves down, again, stretching through the back of the leg. If your back is tight, you might also feel something in the back during this. And that's okay. <sighs> nice deep inhales, deep exhales. We just stretch this out a little bit. And we're just going to hang out here for two more breaths. So one more deep inhale. One more deep exhale. Beautiful. And then stacking that spine up one vertebrae at a time. Leave that left leg where it's at and open the right out to the side. Again, it can be as far out as you would like. I'm going to rotate my upper body to look at my toes. And again, as I exhale, water falling forward. Ideally with both arms, but just for the camera, I'm going to keep my left out of the frame. If you need to, put your hand behind your foot or wherever it can make purchase to gently try to deepen that stretch, trying to bring nose and forehead to the knee. But now we're feeling this nice stretch through the left side of the back and of course, through our legs as well. Now don't worry if one muscle group is talking louder than the other, that one just needs to stretch a little bit more. So again, trying to go all the way down. And of course, as always, like I say, every class, bringing your awareness to if you go down as far on this side as we could the other side, or is something different? So you might start to notice little differences like that, which is awesome, getting that mind-body awareness. Nice deep inhale, exhale, stack your spine up, one vertebrae at a time, turn to center. Now let's take that left leg and extend it out. Feet can be dorsiflexed or pointer flexed, whatever feels good. Legs can be as wide or as narrow as you'd like, and I'm just going to waterfall forward. Now, this one is one I always struggle with, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. If you can bring your nose to the floor, go for it. Or maybe like me, and it's just a forearm to the floor kind of day. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. So now we're really stretching out inner thigh, hamstring as we come down. Beautiful. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. 
From here, I'm gonna walk my hands and my upper body to my left foot, keeping my legs nice and long. I like to dorsal flex the left foot so it gives me something to grab onto. And again, just trying to lie down and bring that chest to your thigh, nose to knee, whatever verbiage feels good for you. But again, we're just deepening that stretch through the left leg as we come down. You'll probably feel that back stretch pop to you again, which is a okay. One deep inhale, exhale. And now I want to just move my hands on over to this right foot. And again, hands can either be behind the feet. I like to dorsal flex. You can play your flex if that feels better for you. And come on down. Again, chest to thigh, nose to knee, or whatever verbiage feels good for you. And just again, gently lower it on down as far as you can. Perfect. We're gonna need all of these leg muscles here in a minute, so that's why we wanna make sure they're nice and stretched out. <sighs> Take one more deep inhale. Now as I exhale, I'm gonna walk myself back to center and see what I notice. You should be able to go a little bit farther down, even if it's just a wee little bit. That's okay, that's still a win in my book. So we're just kind of deepening that stretch as far as we can, keeping those legs out, trying not to let them sneak in. Sometimes they like to do that. Nice deep inhale, and then exhale, slowly start to walk yourself back up. Beautiful. All right. Now, if you have a band, go ahead and grab your band. If you don't have a band, you can grab a hand weight. From here, I'm going to come into a quadruped, so hands and knees. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips, and knees are about hip width apart. My left hand is going to grab and just kind of smush that band between the left hand and the floor. My right hand is going to grab the band, and I'm going to keep my hands under my shoulders still. Take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, pull that right arm out to the side. If you don't have a band and you have a weight, just open that weight out to the side and back in. Beautiful. Keeping the hips in neutral, core nice and engaged. If this feels too easy and you want to make it a little harder, come into a knee hover while you do this. You're going to get a lot more leg, core, posterior chain engagement. Beautiful. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. If you need to release, Give those wrists a little breather. You can get a little gnarly on those wrists because now we're going to add on to that. So if I come back to my quadruped, now I'm going to pull my arm out as far as I can. I'm going to add some rotation and then come back to center. So pulling that arm out to the side and then rotating, in my case, to the right, back to center and down. Again, if you have that hand weight, you can just pull and rotate up to the sky and back down. Beautiful. Keeping the core on. That left arm is nice and straight. So is the right. And again, if you'd like it to be harder, you come into that nice knee cover. It's really going to add an extra dimension to this move. Three more. So three and two and last one. Beautiful. Again, come on down, shake those wrists out if you need it. Excellent. The other thing you can do is if having that left hand flat on the band is too much, make a little fist and smush it with your knuckles between the band between your knuckles and the floor. So that way your wrist can be a little more straight. All right, from here, back to my quadruped. We're not done with this yet. Now when I Exhale, I'm going to pull that band forward towards you at the center of the room and back under my shoulder. So exhale, pulling straight forward and down. And again, if you have that hand weight, this is what it would look like. Exhale out and back down, just warming those shoulders up. Beautiful. As always, if you want to go into that knee hover, you're going to make it a little harder, which is awesome. Beautiful. Three more. So three, two, one, come on down, take a break. We're going to add on to that move here in a second after we give our wrists a little bit of a breather. So 
Good. You're ready? Come back to that quadruped. Now, the next time I lift my arm up, give me two pulses before I bring it down. So lift up, pulse, pulse, and back down. Lift up, pulse, pulse. Beautiful, ladies, just like that. Up, pulse, pulse, and down two more. Up, pulse, pulse. And down, last one. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. Come on down, shake those wrists out. We just have one more thing, and then we'll move on. Ah, well, two weeks of the time. <laughs> so we're gonna do some tricep kickbacks, working on this kind of U-shaped muscle behind our arm. To do that, now I pull my band back, bend the elbow, and pull back. So turn the side. If I pull back. In and out. We really be able to feel those tricep muscles kicking on. Again, if you need to, you can do the knee hover. It'll make it a lot harder for you. Get a lot more muscles engaged. Beautiful. Four more. So that's four, three, two, oh, last one. Excellent. You need to set that fan down. Now I'm going to come into just a low kneeling. And I'm just gonna do some nice arm circles with the right. Perfect. Three more on this side. So three, two, one. And now let's reverse that direction. Excellent. And again, just trying to keep the shoulder down and back. Core is still on, Tip still Pilates, hips in neutral. Three more. Two, one. Now this arm can take a break. And we're going to do the same thing with the left. The left has been our workhorse, keeping us up in that kind of tripod position this whole time. Don't worry, here in a second, the right will get to enjoy that as well. Three more. So three, two, one. Now a reverse direction. Again, as big of a circle as you can while still keeping the shoulder down and back in the socket. Core on and hips neutral, just like we say every clamp. Perfect. And again, three more. So three and two and one. Excellent. All right, go to your happy place because we're going to do that left arm now. So the same principle applies. Now, my right hand is going to smush the band between the hand and the floor. Left hand is going to grab the band. And as I exhale, pull straight out and back in. Now, of course, if I don't have a band, you can do the same with the hand weight as I go out and back in. There we go. Perfect. And of course, if you don't have either, you can do it with just body weight. So there's no right or wrong here. Four more. So four, three, two, and one. If you need to, little micro break through those wrists. Like I said before, if you need to, make a little fist and smush the band between your knuckles and the floor so you can keep this wrist straight. From here, let's add that rotation. So exhale, pull, rotate. Now in this case, I'm going to the left. So exhale, pull, rotate, back to center. If you'd like to make this a little harder, don't forget that knee hover. It's there for a reason. Just make sure that you're maintaining good form if you decide to hover those knees. Beautiful. Three more. So three, and then two, and last one. Come on down. Again, shake those wrists out, shake those shoulders. Hopefully we're feeling the arms, the chest, the back, all that good stuff. Don't worry, we'll get the lower body and stuff later. All right, so now we're gonna bring that arm forward again. So, push your band, grab your band, as you exhale, lift that arm up and down. Of course, if you don't have the band, you can use a hand weight. And if you don't have a hand weight, just your body weight. Now, if you don't have any kind of weight or bands, and you're just doing this with body weight, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and do that knee hover. It's going to add intensity to the workout, and you'll just get more out of it. Perfect. Three more. So three and two. And one, ah, come on down, shake it out, because now we have those pulses here in a second. So as soon as you're ready, 
Come back into your quadruped, grab your band, lift that arm up, pulse, pulse, and down. Lift the arm up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful, ladies. You guys are great. Give me two more. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Last one. Up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. All right. So then shake it up. Last thing are those tricep extensions, and then we'll be done with this for a hot minute. So shake, shake, shake it out. Come back to your quadruped. Grab your band or your weight. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, pull that arm back. Bend at the elbow and give me a nice tricep extension. Again, if you'd like, come into your knee hover. It just adds intensity to the movement. And now we're really feeling that horseshoe shaped muscle on the back of our arm. Beautiful. Ah, those are great. Excellent. Nice deep inhales. Deep exhale. Perfect. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ah, come on down. Set your band or your hand weight off to the side. Whew, perfect. So now I'm going to take my right arm and I'm going to cross it across the body. My left hand is going to grab the back of my arm and pull it to my chest. The one thing I'm going to be a stickler about is make sure your right elbow, or pardon me, your right shoulder stays down. Sometimes when I see this, I see the shoulder come up and try to whack us in the earlobe. And that's not really stretching the shoulder out as much as it could. So hopefully you can see the difference between shoulder down, shoulder up, shoulder down, shoulder up. So, and you'll feel the difference immediately when that shoulder's down and back in the socket. Now, while I'm pushing and stretching my left hand in, my right wrist is just gonna give me some little circles. So this is gonna be our little apology to our hands for being in that quadruped for so long and then go the other way with my circles. Let's do three more. So three, two, one. Release the arms, swap to the left side. So now my right arm is pulling the left arm to my chest. And again, my left shoulder is down, it's not popped up. So again, hopefully on camera, you can see that difference between down when it pops up and when it's down. So up, doesn't really do much. Down is where I get that lovely stretch. Beautiful. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. How's that back? Are we sitting in neutral with our core arm? Yeah, thought so. <laughs> now let's go ahead and roll that left wrist. Nice rolls or some sort of motion. So again, apologize. Excellent. Now let's go the other way. Shake, shake, shake. Beautiful. We're just going to do three more. So three, two, one. Release the arms. Come on to our booty. We're gonna do some rolling like a ball. So don't worry, I'll walk you through this. So if I'm sitting on the booty, I'm gonna bring my knees in. And I'm just gonna start with my toes touching the ground. If you've never done this, your hands can go behind the knees and your job is to pull the knees to your chest, tuck your chin and use your abdominals to rock yourself forward and back up. So let's try that. As I inhale, I rock back. And then as I exhale, I come up. Notice how my feet aren't touching the ground. Let's try it again. Inhale back, exhale forward. Trying really hard to not let those feet touch the ground. Beautiful. And then back and up. And again, it's all the core, which is really hard. That's why we want to keep those knees as close to our chest as possible. Because if the knees Flop out and away, gravity just brings us up. We need two more and then we'll add on. Last one, come on up if you need to, reevaluate. Now, let's add to that. So, the next time I roll like a ball up, I'm gonna pick one side and extend that arm and leg and then bring it in and roll back and do it again. If you want to make it a little harder, hands outside the knees this time. So, inhale back, exhale up, Pause, extend arm and leg, bend it back in, roll back, roll up, extend arm and leg, bring it in, roll back, roll up, extend out, and in one more, back, 
and up, extend out, and in. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna roll like a ball back, put my feet on the ground. Arms are nice and long. Beautiful. Tuck my chin, nice deep inhale. Exhale, come up, start pumping those arms. Surprise, 100. Oh, I know. So again, I'm holding that chest lift. Neck is nice and relaxed as I pump my arms. And I'm pumping these arms up and down like they're going through something sticky, like maybe molasses or honey, some, same, something with some resistance. Now, if this is as far as you want to go today, stay here. Otherwise, bring one leg up into tabletop while we still pump. I know, the 100s last for a bazillion years, but you're doing great. Now, bring your second leg up. Ooh, perfect. If this doesn't feel good, go ahead and set those feet back down. From here, extend one leg out. Beautiful. Now extend the other leg out. Excellent. If this doesn't feel good, you can bring those legs back in or just alternate one leg out for five and then the other leg out for five. Don't worry, we're almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring those knees in, lay on down. You need to rock side to side or whatever feels good for you and your body. Perfect, you guys are awesome. All right. Now I'm gonna lay on my back, extend my left leg out as far as I can, really glue it to the ground, and my right leg is gonna come up to the sky. From here, just give me some nice lazy leg circles. Again, just for now, keeping both of my hip bones on the ground. Perfect. Nice little leg circles. We've done this before in class on our virtual videos. And let's go the other way with our circles. Ah, just kind of relaxing, making sure the movement is happening from my hip socket and not my foot. Because this is fun, I guess, but it's not really doing much. Two more. One, two, I'm gonna bring my leg back up. Now when I make my circles to the right, or pardon me, to the left, because I can't see, something fun's gonna happen. Give me two more circles. One, two. Now as I start to make my third circle over, roll onto your thumb. And I'm gonna come onto, and we'll do just a little bit. Now my top leg comes up and gives me two kicks forward. Kick and back, kick, kick, and back. You can be lying down if you want. I'm just gonna come up just for the audio, so onto my forearm here. So kick, kick, and back, one hip on top of the other, both shoulders back, two more. Kick, kick, and back, kick, kick, and back. Roll onto your back and give me more circles. Beautiful, nice lazy circles. Two more, one, as I start to make the third, roll back onto my side. Now give me some leg lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. And if I glance over my right shoulder, my right leg is in line with my spinal column. So I'm really feeling outer thigh, outer booty. How's that core? Is it on? You need to poke it. I'll let you know right away. Four more. So, four. Three, two, and one. Come on down, roll back onto our back. More lazy circles. We just have one more of these and then we'll move on. Lazy, lazy circles. Perfect, two more. One, two. As I start to make that third circle, roll onto my side, bring that leg straight out and give me some leg circles in this position. If this is a little bit of a balance challenge, that top hand can come down and gently push into the floor in front of you. Just make sure that I'm not rolling forward onto it and losing my form. Let's go the other way with those circles. And again, I'm initiating that movement from my hip socket and not my foot. Three more. So three, two, one. You need to roll back onto your back. Grab those knees, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, roll like a ball up, make sure my feet don't touch the ground. And again, give me some more rolling like a ball. Inhale back, exhale up, 
If you'd like to make roving like a ball a little harder, bring your hands down to your heels. Beautiful. Because <sighs> now it really forces those abs to work and keep those knees in towards your chest because I don't really have anywhere to go. Perfect. Three more. All the way back and up. Beautiful. Look at those little balls rolling around on the camera. Perfect. I love it. Excellent. Now, after my last one, we're going to do the extension again. So, roll like a bell, come on up, extend arm and leg, bring it back in, go on back, roll on up, extend out, and in, roll like a ball, come on up, out, and in, roll like a ball, come on up, last one, roll like a ball, come on down. Perfect. Now, I really want you to challenge you. We have both legs up to tabletop now, arms out. Nice deep inhale, exhale, come on up. 100s again, I know, I didn't forget about it from the last time we did it. So, whew. and again, we're just pumping those arms like we're pumping through something sticky, like sand or molasses. If this bothers your neck and we're not able to relax the neck through this, put one hand behind the head to support it for like say 10 pumps and then swap. So that way you're protecting your neck and really getting into those abs. Perfect. Now let's extend one leg out. Beautiful. And bring it in so the other leg can go out. And again, if this bothers your back, just bring both legs to tabletop and disregard everything I'm saying. If you can, send both legs out while we pump those arms. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. Four more. So four, three. Two, one, oh, come on in and down. If you need to, rock side to side for a moment. I'm gonna rearrange myself for a little bit so you can see me better. Hopefully that works. So now extend the right leg out, left leg up, and give me those circles. Just lazy circles, keeping both hips as glued to the ground as possible as I come out and around and up. Just doing the other, the same thing we did on the other side, on this side, perfect. Three more and then we'll swap directions. Again, my hip bone is making this movement and not my foot. Perfect. Now let's go the opposite direction. Out, down, up, and around, out, down, up, and around. And you might start to notice different tension or pull points from one direction to the other. That's a okay. Exactly what we're looking for. Ah, beautiful. Okay, three more. So three and two and one. Bring that leg up. Now we're going to go the first direction again. That way we can get our rollovers. Beautiful. So now the next time this leg comes around and over, roll over. Make sure you're not going to kick your reformer. Scoot back a little bit so that doesn't happen. And then give me those kicks. Kick, kick. Bring the leg back in line with the body. Kick, kick, and back. Kick, kick, and back. Core is on. Got my little mouse house. I've pulled my ribs up away from the ground below me. My leg is parallel. Beautiful. Two more. So, kick, kick, and back. Last one. Kick, kick, and back. Roll onto our back for more lazy circles. Kick the door. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. And on this next one, we're going to roll over. Once I'm rolled over, give me some nice leg lifts and lowers. Lift and lower. Beautiful. Up and down. And again, if I peek over my left shoulder, this left leg is in line with my spine. So that way, I'm really getting outer thigh, outer booty. If balance isn't your jam, those fingertips can come down onto the floor. Four more. So four, and three, and two, and one. Roll back over for our last little set. So lazy circles. Keeping both hips down as best we can. On this next one, roll back over for our final one. Keep this leg long and give me circles. Again, if you need to, you can put 
this arm, or pardon me, these fingertips on the floor. Again, just making sure I'm not dumping my body weight into them and rolling forward. Beautiful. You guys are rock stars. Thank you for those of you who have the cameras on just so I can see that you're not eating popcorn or something. <laughs> and now let's go the other way with our circle. Again, making that circle from our hip socket so we can really focus on those big muscles of our legs instead of the wee little ones that are in our ankles. Three more. So three, two, one. Oh, come on down. Roll along to your tummy. Hands under shoulders, nice deep inhale. Exhale, press yourself up into that quadruped. Don't worry, we're not doing anything too crazy yet. Just give me some nice cat cows. So I'm arching my spine up, lowering it down. As always, if cat cows don't do it for you, you can rock those hips side to side, think into a child's pose. Just really use this as an opportunity to give your body whatever feels good or whatever it might be needing right now. So, and the great thing about this being online and virtual is if your spine needs something different from your neighbors, you don't have to worry about it. You can just focus on you and what feels good. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, go ahead and curl your toes under. If you need to, you can be on your forearms. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, knee hover up. Walk the left leg back. Walk the right leg back. Now we're in plank. Left leg forward, right leg forward. We're back to our knee hover. So out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Beautiful. These are great. Out, out, in, in. The last one out, out, in, in. Come on down and stretch. And again, you can stretch however feels good for you and your body. Move some of this out of the way. I'm kicking it. All right. So now come back to your quadruped. Curl those toes under. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, knee hover up. Now I'm going to take my left hand and lift myself up into a side plank with my knees bent and then lower down to my knee hover. So exhale, lift to my side plank and back to my knee hover. Three more. Up and down and up and down. Last one. Up and down and bring it on home. So again, stretch it out, whatever feels good for you. Shake, shake. Now we're going to take that up a notch. So I'm going to come into a full plank and then do the same little rotation. So Again, you can be on your forearms if you need to. So, quadruped, curl the toes under, inhale, exhale, knee hover up, walk both feet out to my plank, and then again, lift that left arm up to my side plank and come back to a full plank, making sure that my hips are in neutral, my core is engaged, and of course, shoulders are down and back. Two more. And this is two, and of course, last one. And forward, set those knees down, and of course, stretch it out. Whatever feels good for you. Whew, beautiful. All right, now before we just dive into that other side, let's give your body a little bit of a break. So, come into my quadruped, curl those toes under, inhale, exhale, knee come right, walk your right foot back, left foot back, use your mountain climbers. Beautiful. Now, if this is too easy for you, you can make them running mountain climbers if you'd like. And if you try it and you're like, I don't want to do that, that's fine. Just go into your normal mountain climbers. Four more. Four, three, two, one, and come on down. <sighs> Beautiful. Stretch it out. Those wrists are probably talking to you a little bit. We want our wrists a lot today because it's fun. <laughs> so shake, shake, shake if you need to. Now, let's do that whole kitten caboodle on the opposite side. So, I'm in my quadruped, curl those toes under, nice deep inhale, exhale, knee hover up, walk one foot back, the other foot back, one foot in, the other foot in. So, we're going from a knee hover to a plank to our knee hover. Excellent. <sighs> out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Next time we come in, Set down and stretch it out. 
Again, you can stretch however feels good for you in your body because now we're gonna get that beautiful rotation in. So, kick it out. <sighs> Go to your happy place. You guys are awesome. Come onto our hands or forearms. Curl those toes under. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, we hover up. We'll lift the right arm as I come into my side plank and back to my knee cover. And again, repeat. My core is on, my hips are in neutral, and my arms are so excited for planking. Two more. Two. And one. And come on down. Again, stretch it out however it feels good for you and your body. Gosh, where's the time go? Be like 90 minute classes for all the stuff I want to get through. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to do the full side plank to the rotation. It's going to be a lot of fun, don't worry. So we're going to inhale, exhale, knee hover up, walk one foot back, then the other. And again, lift that right arm up to the sky and come back to my side plank. Inhale, exhale, lift on up and down. Exhale, lift up. And down two more. All the way up. And down, last one. All the way up. And down. Come on down. Stretch it out. Whatever feels good for you and your body. All right. Now, I didn't forget about that thing we needed to squeeze. So if you have a magic circle, grab it. Otherwise, grab your pillow, squishy thing, whatever you could find. And come onto our back, flat on the ground. I'm going to start by putting my magic circle in between the palms of my hands at my chest and just forget about it. So we don't need it right now. I'm going to bring my attention to my lower body. Nice deep inhale, exhale, bridge up and down. And again, you can do a hinging or articulating bridge. It doesn't matter. Do what feels best for you and your body. Like I said before, articulation bothers my low back. I have an old injury that's just grumpy sometimes, so I always do hinging. Perfect. Now, once you've found your bridge and your rhythm, now let's incorporate these arms. So the next time I come down, as I bridge up, press the arms up, and as I come down, pull the arms down. Bridge up, press up, come down, lower down. Beautiful. Bridge up, press up. Come down, lower down. Beautiful. Now the next time I bridge up, pause, give me two pulses into whatever thing you had, and then come on down. So again, bridging up, pressing the arms up, pulse, pulse, and then as you come down, pull those arms back down. Bridge up, pulse, pulse, and then come back down. Give me two more. All the way up, pulse, pulse, and back down. All the way up, pulse, pulse, and then back down. Now, if you have something you can only squeeze into, keep your arms where they're at. If you're like me and have a magic circle, put your hands on the inside. My arms are going to start long, regardless of whatever device I have. And now as I bridge up, I'm going to lift my arms up to above my shoulders and then back down. So the same applies even if your arms are still on the outside of whatever prop you're using. So again, I'm still bridging up, lifting the arms up, and lowering down, lowering my object down. Now, the next time I come up, pause, and give me two more pulses into your device before we come down. If you're like me and have a magic circle, I'm pulsing my hands towards opposite walls twice before I come down. If you don't have something you can pulse outwards to, still pulse in. It's still going to be a really good work for the upper body. So, beautiful. So again, whatever you have, bring it up, pulse, pulse, and then come down. Hinge on up, pulse, pulse, and down two more, and then we'll be done. So bridging up, pulse, pulse, and down. Last one, all the way up, pulse, pulse, and down. Beautiful. Now, take that thing that you can squish and put it in between your calves. Here, I don't want to stick my booty in anybody's faces. So, you can be as close to your knees or your ankles as you'd like. Bring those legs to tabletop. Nice deep inhale. 
Exhale, extend those legs to the center of the room and back. So I'm stopping at tabletop, extending my legs out and back in. Beautiful. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. Three more and then we'll add on. So all the way out and in, all the way out and in. This is our last one. All the way out and in. If you need to, shake those knees side to side for a second. So with me, your back's gonna pop, pop, pop. Perfect, put my magic circle back where I found it. Now let's add some pulses. So legs and tabletop, press those legs all the way out, pause, pulse, pulse, and then bring the legs back in. Now when I do my pulses, I'm using my inner thigh and pelvic floor. Because if you just pulse with your feet, not a lot happens. I see that sometimes, so that's why I mention it. Use those inner thighs. Use that pelvic floor. Pulse, pulse, and back. Two more, all the way out, pulse, pulse, and back. Last one, all the way out, pulse, pulse, and back. Beautiful. Take your magic circle, set it off to the side. Keep these legs in tabletop though. And as I exhale, I'm gently going to rock my hips to the left. It's okay if the right booty comes off, just make sure the right shoulder doesn't. Inhale, pass through center, and then exhale, rock to the right. Again, it's okay if this booty comes off a little and back to center. So again, exhaling, going to left or right. Inhale, brings us back to center. Excellent. And again, now we're just getting a little bit of those abdominals, but also our obliques keeping on. And again, keeping those shoulders down at all times. If you'd like a little bit of an add-on here, the next time, say, I rock to one side, pause, extend that top leg, bring it back to tabletop, and then pass through center. Go to the opposite side, extend that top leg, bring it back to tabletop, and repeat. So now we're just getting a little bit more lower body activation getting our legs involved, might be a stretch, might be a little bit of a workout, depending on what your body needs. One more to the left, to center, back to the right, stretch, bring the tabletop center. If you need to, hug those knees to your chest, rock them side to side. <sighs> Perfect. Oh my goodness, where is our time going? All right, now from here, inhale, exhale, come on up around, give me a nice square pose. I guess we'll just have to come back to class on Monday, roll all the way forward so we can finish this class. I had so many ideas and none this time. So just rolling forward and just really trying to open those knees, open that hip as I come forward. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale, slowly come up. Perfect. Once we're up, I'm going to plant both of my feet on the ground and as slowly as possible return to standing. Unfortunately, it's time for your final roll down. Darn it. All right. So bring these arms up overhead. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, rolling forward like I'm rolling over an imaginary beach ball. If I touch my hands to the ground, if you want, you can close your eyes. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake those arms. Shake your shoulders, shake your booty, shake your shake those legs a little bit. Nice deep inhale, exhale, stack that spine up one vertebrae at a time. Of course, with our head being the final component to return to standing. 